All right, guys, today we're going to be taking apart this Vupu drag and cleaning it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that it's turned off and you're going to pull the batteries out so that you don't risk shocking yourself while you're doing this. Next, you're going to take off whatever tank you have for the mod. This is a smock alien tank that I got with an old mod. Gonna unscrew it. You're gonna get. There's, there's always a lot of gunk and build up in here. This one was really slimy for me because it has been quite a while since I've actually vaped. So there is juice everywhere. So after you take apart the um, tank, you're gonna start working on the mod itself. So there are four hex key screws in each corner of the mod. I think they were a 1.3. So you're going to take those out. Once those four screws are out, you're going to take something to pry around the edges of the plastic casing that is in here. And if you're like me, you're going to realize that this is too fat to be able to stick in there to pry it, so you're going to get something a little bit thinner. Flathead screwdriver works great here. Um, you're just going to pry around the edges a little bit, kind of break it loose. There's two magnets, so be very careful not to lose the two magnets one on the top and one on the bottom. Make sure you don't jam it into the buttons that are in there. And you're going to remove these two screws that are on the top of the mod. These are pentagonal screws, not your normal hex screws. So whenever you take these off, the base of where the tank goes, where the atomizer is, is going to come loose and that's going to allow for you to be able to pry the battery holder the rest of the way out. The camera's a little shaky because I didn't have a solid surface and I kept bumping it. take something and you're going to pry out the place where the atomizer sits. Loosen that up. Be careful not to break the wires that are underneath otherwise you will break the mod. Uh, you can solder them back on if you actually break it but I wouldn't recommend that. So once you have that pried up you're going to be able to pry up the battery holder the rest of the way and pull that out. Careful, the fire button is a little, it doesn't actually sit in the mod, so whenever you pull out the battery holder, it will fall out. And there is a little rubber stopper on the back that allows the fire button to actually press against the button. Now that everything's apart, we're going to start cleaning it. I like to use uh, isopropyl alcohol saturated wipes to clean everything. Oh no wait. This is where I was removing the covers for the battery holders that are on the inside of the mod. There's two Phillips head screws for each of those. Be careful not to lose the magnets that are also mounted there where the battery holder covers are. 
I mean, you can't really see what I'm doing, but... The camera was far too close to what I was doing. I tried to take everybody's advice that I had been given and get something to mount my camera on, be able to see what I was doing and get a better lit area. So I was really trying to show what I was doing this time, but sometimes the best of intentions don't go so well. So now everything is fully disassembled. Now's where I started cleaning everything. Took a couple of isopropyl alcohol saturated wipes and just wiped down all the surfaces. You can see that how dirty these cloths get as I'm cleaning everything. The dirtiest part of this whole mod was definitely the inside of the tank where the juice goes. The reason why I cleaned this was because one of the O-rings had worn out and it completely saturated my dresser and the sides, of the insides of this mod. I wanted to make sure that if I did use it again sometime in the near future that it wasn't going to short out anything. So I wanted to take it apart and clean it. What better time to take it apart than to make a video out of it. So as you can see, this is me putting the mod back together. Everything is the reverse of taking it apart. The hardest part of this was getting that button to sit in the correct place. There's only one way you can put the button in and you have to make sure that that rubber piece is on that button. Otherwise, you will not be able to push the button and use the mod anymore. So that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video. Give me a comment, give me any ideas on what I should do next for the next video that I do. Uh, Thanks for coming to my channel.